Hey, go with me in your Bibles to uh, Psalm, Psalm 24. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> without him. Psalm 24. Hey, he, he hit it right there. Uh, the veil's been torn. Psalm 24, verse 3. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Check this out. 2,000 years ago, Christ Jesus ascended Golgotha's hill to tear that veil for us, to bring the division, the separation between us and God, and bring the healing and the restoration so we have an altar. So we have an altar, so we cry out to the Lord. It says, the only one that can ascend his hill is he who has clean hands and a pure heart. How else do you have clean hands and a pure heart unless you are sanctified at this altar? I encourage everyone, when these altars open up, get here because, you know, there's some stuff that needs to be poured out. Living waters need to flow freely from here for the healing. Amen? Amen. He says, those who have not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. He says, this is the generation of those that will seek him, who will seek the Lord. Check this out, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up. You everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Look at the, the Lord speaking twice here. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up, you, you are, lift up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is a, when, when God speaks, we listen. But when God says something twice, we need to pay close attention. Amen. One ear, left ear, right ear, pay attention with both ears. You know, close your mouth and listen up closely. What is God trying to say? He's saying, lift up your heads. I was looking at this and I was studying this. In the Hebrew root words, the heads means chiefs, captains, rulers. Is there anyone here that's a leader? God's calling out to be a leader or, or, you know what I mean? If you're not a leader yet, they get grounded and rooted in the word of God. Get planted in the house of God so you can be raised up. Amen? He says, Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. The word of God here is telling, in, in, he's telling us, lift up. In the Hebrew, it, that's, that same exact word can be used as carry, take, or bring. He's asking us to lift up our heads, you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. <coughs> The man at the pool of Bethesda, he sat there for 38 years because he couldn't get a healing. He didn't have no one to bring him. He didn't have no one to put him in the pool. Amen? But this word right here, lift up, means carry, take, or bring. Whatever it's going to take for your loved one, for your unsafe friend, family, whoever it is, we got to be the one that sit in that place and lift up an individual. This time these doors got to be open. These gate, hey, you know what? These back doors, these, we got to roll these gates up, open these doors, and let the gospel be sent forth instead of having this place closed off. The people, gotta, I know people come walk all through this alley. There, there, there's children that play back there in the in, in, in trampolines and stuff. They need to start hearing the word. Amen? We, who's going to do it? A chief, a captain, a ruler, a leader. That's who it is. Men of God, women of God. People are already grounded and rooted in the God. People that have the knowledge of who Christ is. Brother Danny just said, the veil's been torn. There's no more excuse. There's no more reason why we can't come to this altar and cry out to God. We don't got to wait for the once a year atonement anymore. We have sanctification, holiness. We have a place to worship God, come into God and ask God for forgiveness instantly. The minute the insult, the, the, whatever the matter is, takes place. We ask God for forgiveness and we stay in his presence. Amen? Amen. Amen. He said, this is the generation of those who will seek his face. We got to be that people. You don't have to go there. But look right here. You don't have to go there. But Psalm 84 and 10 says, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. He said he'd rather be a doorkeeper. And the word here is telling us, open your... Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. You want to be an everlasting door, so, uh, uh, something to be remembered, someone to, to, to uh, remember, that brings people in, people to know, I can go to the man of God, I can go to the woman of God when I have purpose. And I have, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'd rather sit there in, in God's presence and be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than be out there a savage and ravaging and, and, and looting, doing all the things that, that, that are unrighteous, ungodly. But those are the people we got to minister to. If I'm going to be a doorkeeper, i got to be the one that's positioned, grounded, rooted, and, and brought up in the word. So I could be, because Jesus said, I am the door. And my sheep, I give my his sheep, go out to pasture and come in for rest. If you're going to be a doorkeeper in the house of God, just a, a doorkeeper, you got to be a man of God, a woman of God, tested by the word of God, proven by the word of God. Amen? we got to be those people. we got to be one that is willing to open the door for the individual coming, not just watch them pass by. Our front door, the front doors of our company. 
wherever we, I don't know where everybody works, but I don't know what it's like. But, you know, you open the front doors, the pastor buyers, whatever it may be, carry, bring someone in, lift someone up, uh, carry somebody, carry somebody's burden. Jesus, they had to help uh, Jesus carry his cross. Amen. We got to carry each other's burdens. We got to walk with each other. We got to come alongside each other until the individuals are grounded and rooted and set up in the house of God. Amen. We've got to be people. He says, he says, the earth is the Lord's in all of its fullness, the world and those who dwell in. For he has founded them, for he has founded upon the seas and established upon them. Everything is the God's, is God's in the fullness of it. These chairs, this building, our, our being, the cars we drive, the buildings we pass by, the people that we, we encounter, everything belongs to God. Why not speak the word of God to the people of God? Bring the word of God to that which is already God's. We're called to seek and save that which is lost. And if we're not doing our job, how are we going to be the ones that lift up if we're running and hiding? We can't, we can't be a storehouse that just hoards everything and waits for a rainy day or, or, or when circumstances change and we're, and we're, set, we're, we're saved and we're, and we're final. Amen? We've got to be one that's pouring out and pouring in, bringing, leading people to these altars, bringing people to the house of God, to this place, the, 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 this holy ground, this holy temple, this place, this place, house of worship where God's spirit dwells, where God's spirit remains. We've got to usher people in, bring them in, carry them, whatever it's going to take, lift them, bring people in God's presence so we could be in his presence and bring deliverance in and healing the people. New Hope in. Ministries of Central Denver, we would like to thank you for taking your time to watch this message with us. Our mission here is to reach, to disciple, and to raise up people into the purpose that God has for each and every one of his children. We pray that this message has blessed you and encouraged you in your walk with Jesus. If you don't currently have a relationship with Jesus, we encourage you to place your faith in him. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Invite him into your life. Dig into the word of God and connect with a local body of believers to help you grow in this walk. If you have any questions or would just like to connect, you're always welcome to do such through social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where we'll often utilize the hashtag NHMCD. You can also download our mobile app by going to your Play Store and typing in the letters NHMCD. And there you'll find more teaching, ways to connect. You can request prayer, as well as our location, service times, and ways to sow into the ministry. If you're in and near the Denver area, we treasure the chance to connect with you and have you join us at any one of our services. We thank you once again for taking a moment of your time to join us as we celebrate, we worship, we honor God by delivering his word. God bless you and have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name.